Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built Stir themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Mervin. Welcome to today's show. Today we have a tips and tricks uh, segment where we're going to be trying for the first time to use the Molotow Chrome to do a, um, a candy paint job. And this was inspired by one of my viewers who had watched the Molotow pen uh, demonstration I did on the Mustang body. Um, how to do trim and, and chrome on a you know on a car model with uh, with the Molotow pen uh, the Molotow chrome I should say and this person was mentioning that there was another channel that they had showed that you could uh, airbrush the uh, the chrome the liquid chrome so I'm like okay uh, yeah I pretty sure you could do that I'm gonna try it and I got thinking why would I do that I'd have to mask everything off. I didn't really want to do that, but why not use it as the base coat for a candy paint job? Now, usually I've used a nice bright gold for my candy paint jobs, but why not chrome? Let's give it a shot. So today we are going to look at how to use this. Uh, this will be my first attempt at trying this with, uh, with the Molotow uh, liquid chrome. So you'll get to see the results, um, good or bad with me and uh, there's a little surprise in there. So stick with us as we uh, go through this. So back in 1978 or 1979 in my neighborhood, there was this beautiful Camaro with a candy red paint job. This picture does not do it justice. This was taken with an Instamatic camera. If you look really close, you can see some gold ghost flames on the front end. This car was painted with a gold um, underneath and then kind of a clear red on top and look how beautiful this thing is okay so all I've done to the body is I have uh, I've cleaned up some of the some of the flash that was on here uh, looks like I have just a slight imperfection and hit it with some 3200 grit polishing pad that little imperfection there we go okay looks like I am ready okay there we go okay okay looks like I'm ready to spray so I have just primed it with my 2x primer and now I've got one of the liquid chrome refills, so we're just going to put a few drops in here. And then I am going to spray a good liberal coat of this on the model. why I'm getting a little bit of pressure uh, problem. Hang on. Okay, just up to my pressure just a little bit. I'm going to put a liberal coat on here. The one thing about this, it doesn't really run. But I want it smooth. Nice. 
nice thick coat. Look at that. Wow. I'll put some more in my gun here before we continue on. Okay. Now I'm going to spray. Okay, I'm happy with that. Just a couple little touch-ups here. I don't want to spray this over the stuff that's already dried, because then it'll look funny. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Okay, and it smoothed itself out pretty, pretty well. So I am going to let this thing cure for a couple of days. Not that it's sick, but it's probably a good idea to let it cure for a couple of days. The longer I let it cure, the better. And then we're going to do our next part, which will be... Uh, clear red so stick with us and uh, we'll see how that turns out okay so we have let this thing uh, cure and it is beautiful <laughs> it's pretty smooth I am NOT gonna try to polish it do anything else to it um, since this is like the first you know time I've ever tried this you're gonna see my results they're either gonna be crappy or they're going to be amazing. So, um, so we're going to see. Now, 
I would like to use to me is clear red, um, but I don't seem to have any, which is interesting. I thought I did. So what I'm going to use is some of my old Model Master um, stoplight red. So it's uh, it's a nice clear, um, you know, stoplight, you know, rear tail light red. Got to get the gun prepared. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, the rear valence because I want to do something that's kind of inconspicuous just in case something bad happens. And I'm just going to spray a light coat. Kind of low pressure. Tail plane here, tail piece. Okay, so far pretty good. Looks like I gotta put some more paint in. I've already pre thinned this. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to thin this just a little bit more. 
So far, there we are. <clears throat> I'm just using lacquer thinner to thin with. Real good. Okay. Okay, there we are so far. We're going to uh, finish this up and we'll come back and take a look here in just a minute. Okay, so you can see here on the hood where I've already started with a 3200 grit polishing pad. To get that nice and smooth and honestly the camera just doesn't do this thing justice uh, the depth of the color of this is just amazing so I decided to change the paint a bit and the one thing I found out is if you try and mask on this it doesn't adhere very well to the chrome underneath and you risk doing something like this. So we'll talk about this in part two.